this time I'm going to go ahead and people have been asking, how do you learn how to stand on a ball? Well, it takes practice. You just don't start right away. So the first thing you want to do is you want to maintain your balance by standing on one leg. Now, if you can do this and start off by holding on to something or someone, make sure that the ground is clear so if you do fall, you don't hurt yourself, don't want to hit your head or injure yourself as you fall. So be careful. So now that you can maintain your balance, next thing you want to do is get what's called a half ball. And we're going to go ahead and start off by holding on to something so you don't lose your balance. And then just get up on a half ball. Ooh. And like even me, you know, I almost fell. Just maintain your balance and get what I call your C legs. Now if you can stand on a half ball and get off without falling, okay, you can do squats. You're ready to progress to the next thing, which is going to be what's called standing on a ball. <laughs> now, I do not recommend this for people that haven't been working the balance, haven't built up the core strength here and the strength that you need in your legs to be able to do this. So I always so try to hold some kind of dumbbell as a counterweight. Today, I'm not going to use the counterweight. I'm just going to demonstrate how to stand on a ball. So you want to head, just step up on the ball. Get what you call my C legs. And I'm using my hands as a counterbalance. And there you go. Now, of course, when you're standing on a ball, you also want to get off without falling. So you want to make sure you either jump off and get down. Try not to do it one leg at a time because the leg can slip out and you can hurt yourself. Or you can start off by holding on to something as you balance on the ball. Get more confident, get, get some memory in those legs so you can maintain your balance. As always, have fun, take care, bye-bye.